1025 The Bull. Dollar Bill and Madison's show has lots of good tunes combined with some sophomoric humor. So for those of you enjoying your morning beverage, be advised, we are not responsible for which pipe it goes down. Thank you. Lukey for Lukey about to happen with 1025 The Bull. We've got the farm tour tonight in McCall at Twin Creeks Farm. And we've got our three contestants ready to dig through the dookie for the backstage passes. They've already got the tickets. So let's go to Dollar Bill, who's live in our Bull parking lot right now. I'm glad it's not in the studio, Bill. Thank you, Madison. Appreciate it. Well, let me set the stage for everybody. We're out here in the parking lot. And what we've done is we've set up a little backdrop with the Bull logos. And then we've got a tarp. And on the tarp, is a nice, huge pile, or several piles, really, of hot, steaming dookie. It's actually warm. It's kind of disgusting. And we've got three contestants here, and what they're going to do is they're going to dig through this pile of dookie, and they're looking for this one little piece of candy corn. And, you know, the candy corn like you buy at the store for Halloween candy and stuff or for Thanksgiving. Well, that's what we're going to. It's just one tiny little candy corn hidden in this big pile of steaming dookie. And they're going to each take a turn, and they're going to keep digging through the dookie they get. How much time per, per person? Ten seconds each to dig through until they find the candy corn. Are you nervous, Tara? A little bit. All right. Well, you, it doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. No, I don't look too bad. And Tara's got the nice pink uh, gloves like you're about ready to do some dishwashing here. So she's looking for this. Three, two, one, go. Ooh, she's digging through the first little cow. Five seconds, halfway. She's still looking. No little torn. A nine. Done. Okay, so she's got she didn't find it. one little part of the pile there spread out. Three, two, one, go. There's Tracy digging in the duty, the dookie, dookie for Lukey. And don't forget the 1025 the bull. We're going to be taking over the stairs. Oh, she found it. What? Second person found the Oh, my corn. gosh. Candy Let's didn't even get it. to look for the candy. It is. I don't know how she found it, Madison. It is dookie colored now. Oh, it's no longer that gosh. orange and yellow and white. It's, yeah. Dollar bill and Madison in the morning. 1025 the bull. 1025 The Bull. Good morning to you. Dollar Bill in Madison with you. I'm all excited. Yeah. Really, because, you know, normally we have artists come by and it's dudes. You sit there and you talk to them. <laughs> but not only is the artist we're about to talk to very attractive, she just told us this incredibly gross story <laughs> about a man story. who <laughs> lost his head in an elevator. I'm in love. I, I met the most perfect. I, it really is. He just loves disgusting stuff. I do. So really? You, you've won I him do, over. Of course I do. He'll oh always remember you, Cam, no matter We're talking what. with Cam. Good. Hello. Thank now you for I coming and talking to us. Yeah, of course. Now I don't feel so bad because, you know, there's those horrific stories and you just can't not tell them. Well, just... I think, do we have to tell it now? No, I don't Are you think sure? so. It's, well, okay. it's, it's about an an. an Elevator accident and a decapitation. That ought to tell <laughs> yeah, you everything you need, you, need you need to know. And I love it. <laughs> when my mom calls, she always wants to know, Are you eating breakfast? Heck, a good cup of coffee and a healthy serving of Dollar Bill and Madison, and I'm ready to take on the day. Sorry, Mom. Dollar Bill and Madison, 1025 The Bull. It's 751, nine minutes away from 8 o'clock, sitting on 62 degrees. <laughs> Straight from the streets of Nashville, here's your Music City Minute with Dollar Bill and Madison on 1025 The Bull. So a couple of months ago, Brantley Gilbert posted a photo of his double pistol back tattoo. It's huge. Turns out that was just phase one. Yesterday, he hit up the social media with the pic of his finished product. The pistols are still there, but above them in huge letters is the word amendment. And then written below the guns is the famous phrase people often quote from the Second Amendment, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. So it's, obviously... His whole back is now completely covered. I think that he uh, he believes in the right to bear arms. He explained in the caption, so BG Nation, I wanted to take my support of the Second Amendment to another level, so my boy Carl Grace came by the house, hooked me up yesterday. Carl's the tattoo artist. It looks big. 
Little Big Town says multi-artist shows like last weekend's iHeartRadio Country Festival are a great place to see their friends and dream up collaborations. So backstage at the concert, the groups Karen Fairchild and Philip Sweet talk to everybody about getting together with Jennifer Nettles. Little Big Town says festivals are a really good place to make those connections with their fellow artists. Philip had a, a song on Jennifer's last record, and they were just brainstorming about getting back together and writing another song for her new record. So we all, we, and we, uh, we all love writing with Chris Stapleton, too. It's really fun. And that's your Music City Minute, powered by the Tin Roof on 1025 The Bull. 742 with Jason Aldean, Luke Bryan, and Eric Church. Good morning. Good Thank morning. you for being such a good coworker. You're oh, the best. Listen, how many times have you had to cover for me when I was calling you from the interstate going, Oh, yeah. I'm a little So, old. yeah, today was uh, supposed to be the first day that Grady rides the bus to school because oh. um, my husband is out of town working or whatever. So, Grady, um, and he's only five. Yeah, so he was going to ride the bus this morning, but mama overslept a little bit and screwed everything <laughs> up. So, I woke up at, um, oh, I woke up at 6.12. Oh my god! And I called you. I'm like, help! Oh my gosh! I think it's I think it's all this car crap on my brain. In a world of iced mocha lattes and new age music, isn't it good to know you can still start your day with hot coffee and country music? Dollar Bill and Madison, 1025, The Bull. It's 721, and time to call Sarah's boyfriend Ben after being in a bike accident and kind of getting depressed and moody uh, when he wasn't feeling good. Uh, now, all of a sudden, he's taking appointments. He's uh, better all of a sudden. <laughs> I don't know uh, why she's complaining, but she does have a feeling, a gut feeling about it. It might be somebody else in his life. Let's uh, call him right now. Roses are red. Violets are blue. When we call your man, he better say you. It's War of the Roses with Dollar Bill and Madison on 1025 The Bull. Well, we got a hold of Sarah's boyfriend, Ben, and here's what he said when we asked him to send free roses. Um, I want you to send them to Courtney. Ben? Hello? Hello? What is Why are you sending flowers to Courtney? What? What is this? What, how are you on the phone? Yeah. Um... I don't understand what's going on. And Courtney is your transgender physical therapist. What's up with that? I'm sending her flowers because she's changed my life around. I, I'm, she's helping me get my stuff back together, you know? Uh, she's changed her life. What is, I mean... Setting up a sting operation to catch me sending a thank you gift? What is this? Uh, uh, this is ridiculous. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing this on the radio. This is ridiculous. All right, we'll talk about this later. <laughs> Bullseye traffic. With a really good sounding song. I like that. That's a party song, isn't it? Yeah, that's Drake White's It Feels Good. Drake yeah, performing yeah. that for us tonight at the Tin Roof for free. That's right. Drake White coming to the Tin Roof outside on the patio. Going to be perfect weather for it tonight. Fun, clear skies. I can't wait. We have the best time at the Tin Roof on our incredible Tuesday mm, nights. I'm thinking some cheese dip and Ooh, you're thinking of margarita, live, right? I'm thinking libations, <laughs> yeah. And some food. Oh, yeah. But it's going to be a great night tonight. And that's a free show, by the way, with Drake White tonight. And then we added this last minute, which is incredible. You know that song Smoke that's so good? Mm -hmm. The group A Thousand Horses does that. This big old group. They're going to be with us free show tomorrow night I at mean, the Tin Roof. Yeah, we had 13 shows scheduled for the Tin Roof for our spring concert series. We, uh, we just made it 14. So, yeah. <laughs> Other artists coming throughout the uh, next couple months. Craig Campbell, Rodney Adkins, Jana Kramer, Christian Bush, Dan and Shay. So check out the whole schedule at 1025thebull.com and we'll see you tonight. As much a part of your morning as that steaming hot dry through sausage biscuit. Okie dokie, one sausage biscuit. You do want some Dollar Bill and Madison to go with that, don't you? <laughs> 1025, the 